Water is vital for life on Earth, perhaps life anywhere, and is very handy for bathing. Our modern urban experience of water is that it flows from our taps and is used or enjoyed and then goes down our drains, in and out. Of course, we should remember that our wastewater doesn't just reach a final end point like the ocean and then, I don't know, fall off the edge of a flat earth into space. In reality, water stays in the system, the water cycle. Most moves around this cycle via a variety of paths. Sometimes it gets around quickly, in days, sometimes slowly, thousands of years, but it does move. And this means all the water you've ever drunk, bathed, swam or washed in is recycled. In fact, we drink the same water that dinosaurs drank millions of years ago. Our planet holds an astounding amount of water, and we naturally assume it's a near-infinite resource. But most is salty. And of the fresh water, most is frozen. Fresh water that humans can actually access is the tiniest fraction of the water available. It's far from evenly distributed, and very little is drinkable without treatment. And if you're attempting to provide for a modern city that's growing in a drought, then that supposedly infinite resource suddenly feels very finite. If we can't always rely on our rivers and dams for drinking water, what do we do to keep our cities thriving? We need a range of reliable, realistic and effective options to secure a supply that's fit for our local conditions. And thinking about it, the biggest volume of extra water nearby is the water we just used, wastewater. Let's rethink and retreat wastewater so that it isn't all wasted after all. <laughs>